Hey guys, today we are going to look at different transformations and what their attributes are. So we're gonna talk about congruence and orientation. So congruence is referring to the size of the figure. So if their sizes are the same, then they stay congruent. And then we have two different orientations to talk about. So orientation is of the vertices is talking about the order of the letters. So you're gonna look at the letters and see if the letters changed order. And then orientation of a figure is just whether the figure itself turns or flips. So let's look at each transformation at a time. So the first one we learned about was a dilation. This is an enlargement or a reduction of a figure by the scale factor. And the general rule for this, we take the scale factor, we multiply X by it, and we take the scale factor and we multiply Y by it. For this specific image, we need to determine the scale factor. So my original A is at 0, 1. And my new A is at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it looks like our scale factor is 4. So that means the rule for this image would be for x, for y. Okay, then the congruence, we did not stay the same size. So we would say the congruence changed. And then our orientation on this, we did not turn at all. All we did was make it bigger. So we would say that the orientation was preserved or stayed the same. Okay, let's look at a translation. So translation, remember that is just sliding every point of a figure the same amount. You can tell this one went right and down. And the general rule for that, remember you take your X value and you add or subtract however much you moved left or right. And then you take your Y value and you add or subtract however much you moved up or down. So let's figure out what the translation on this one was. So my original J is up here, my original J is down here. So obviously I'm gonna move down, let's count how much. Down one, two, three, four, five. So we went down five, and then I just moved right one. So down five, right one. I'm gonna write my X and my Y. The down five, that means my Y values went down five, and then the right one means I added one to the X value. Our congruence, we did not change the size at all, so the congruence stays the same. And then we did not turn at all since we just slid this figure. So both of the orientations stay the same as well. Okay, reflection. So that is flipping a figure over a line of reflection. And we do two different reflections here over the x-axis. That's where the x value stayed the same and we changed the y values. And then over the y-axis, we change the x values and the y stays the same. So this specific transformation up here, I'm reflecting over the x-axis. And if we look at our original J coordinates, I was at 1, 1, and then we went to 1, negative 1 here. So we can see we were over the x-axis, and it was our y values that changed. So that's the rule for this specific picture, x opposite y. Okay, our congruence, we did not change sizes at all, we just flipped it. So we would say that our congruence stayed the same. Okay, let's look at the orientation of the vertices, which remember is our letters. So if I go clockwise, I went from J to K to L to M. If I go clockwise again, I go from J to M to L to K. So the order of our letters or the orientation of the vertices changed. 
And then the orientation of the figure itself, it is not facing the same way, so that changed as well. Okay, last one, a rotation. Remember, that is where we turn a figure about a fixed point. Um, and there were three different rules. 90 degrees clockwise is y opposite x. We changed the order and we changed the original x value. 180, we just change both signs. And then 270 clockwise, 90 counterclockwise. We change the sign of our original va y value and change the order. Okay, let's figure out the um, rotation that happened here. I'm gonna use K this time. My original K is at one, four. And my new K is at one, or no, it's at four, negative one. So I changed the order and my original X value became opposite. So we changed the order and the original X value became opposite. Okay, then congruence, I did not change my size at all, so we would say the congruence stays the same. And then the orientation of the vertices, let's look at the order of the letters. So if I go clockwise, I go from J, K, L, M, back to J. Same thing here, if I go clockwise, I go J, K, L, M, J. So the orientation of my vertices, I did not change the order of my letters, so it stayed the same this time. And then the orientation of my figure, the way it is facing, changed. Okay, so the main one you want to remember is this one right here. Dilations are the only ones that change congruence. They're the only ones that change size.